martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Boom Boom! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, Great our fight. referee for this Great. one. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Hands up! Good right here. Oh, beautiful slipping counter there by Lee. Oh, and so now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Lead kick landed there by Lee. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Lancy, quick jab. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another punch to the head. Both fighters. 
Raiders hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. A nice kick there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and... He got him hurt bad here. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Nice jab by Lee. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the toe. Man has his chin been tested early. Big right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, big elbow. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address the Oh! He's hurt now. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. The one-two punch is true. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Punch over the top. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. A scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And a big elbow inside. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Lands a huge flying knee. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Left hook, right hand. One minute now to go round two. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning 
he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right? This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Wow. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did before. Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Hands higher, hands higher. Quick jab. Let's go, kick! Work. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go. But these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruised in that area. It's all in the game plan, John. Oh, oh Oh, that strike to the body, man. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing at the kick. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Checks the leg kick. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. And they separate. Opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. 15 seconds to go. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, my goodness.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Checks that leg kick. Lee's limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Looking to land the right, just out of range. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. Now, that's going to be a I mean, he is throwing those kicks evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him. He's gotta start throwing now. That was Randy Clue. Oh, nice body shot. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Just misses with a left hook there. Beautiful body kick. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other to see. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands. Causes this cut. Opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut, but if he continues to go Ready. forward, his opponent is a sniper, and he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the times in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing, but that corner was fired up. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. To the leg kick now. That one's no good. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands. He lands another crushing kick to his opponent's leg. He is staying committed with that weapon, and this might be over soon. Yeah, he is not kicking to the leg. He's kicking through the leg, and you see his opponent limping now all around the octagon. Oh, the beginning of the end here. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? Oh! 
Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. All right, it's the oh, What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high to his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very bad. He went high on that one. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad. It's starting to get to a point where you got to keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Oh, collar tie. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts and candidly...